welcome in your video by DJS PRC. Uh, we have our Axial SCX24 here. And I'm getting a lot of questions because uh, a lot of people will upgrade their stock wheels. This is the stock one for the, the Jeep uh, to the RC4 wheel drive ones. And the RC4 wheel drive ones are beadlock a lot better than the stock ones. Uh, you do have a lot more choices in tire-wise. Uh, believe me, if you're debating upgrading your wheels, do it. It's totally worth it. But there's a couple of companies out there that makes uh, inserts for brass, like this guy here from Hot Racing. It's basically 9.5 gram brass KMC machine wheel weights. 4 to 24. These guys are designed for the stock wheels. They're not designed for the RC four wheel drive ones. Um, and I'll show you why. Let's open the pack here. And some of these looking for the part number is SXTF2612H. And let's remove one of the wheels off the vehicle. I make sure the, the nut that stays in the socket. That way I don't look for it. Now on mine, I do have the brass knuckles and the brass X's. Now, if we take our uh, stock wheel, or not stock wheel, the RC4 drive wheel, and try to take the knuckle, what a knuckle, <laughs> the brass weight, it doesn't fit on top of the X that's in this wheel. Now, if you would take the stock one, insert it, yes, it does. And it's actually the size of the inner wheel inner wheel here. Now I don't want to push it in because it is a pain to remove. And once it's in, it's in. It's a tight fit. That's what uh, physically you want. But on our stock one here, it doesn't fit. And it is, it's not a snug fit. But what I did basically took a stepper bit and I drilled it out. I didn't go too crazy because I don't want it to be too big, but I just basically on the stepper bit here, I do have a measurements. I think it's 716 and I went half inch. If I remember correctly, not even a half inch. I stopped, but this is perfect now. It does fit inside. And I know you won't be able to see it here. I'll put the, see if the camera is going to want to focus. Sometimes the, she doesn't want to focus. There is a spacing here left in between and it's super easy to pop out, super easy to pop back in. What I'm going to end up doing here is grabbing a little bit of silicone and put the silicone between the brass and the, uh, the X. That way it will give me my weight and it won't flop or come out. Cause if I leave it this way, what's going to happen, it comes out and starts going to start rubbing here. And I don't want that. That's why adding a little bit of silicone between here, uh, will prevent it from coming out and it will stay on the vehicle. And that way it will give me a little bit more weight on my front end, prevent it from flipping. Now let's say you don't have uh, one of these stepper bits or uh, cone bits. There's multiple names for these guys. You could do it with a file and file it. Uh, you can even sand it if you want to. And you could get to the point that it could be even tighter. 
and you may not need to put any silicone in between here if you don't have access to this. Uh, if not, you can ask one of your friends, your neighbor, some, somebody might have it. Even if you're friends with a local mechanic, a lot of mechanics has this. But again, like I said, I oversize it a bit to fit it in. Now I'll be able to put them on both sides. I will oversize this one here. And basically what I did, hold on with a pair of pliers. It is made out of brass. It is a soft metal. I don't know if you see it, but the tons of shavings. I'm just gonna try to clean it up a bit. Might need to do it a little bit more. Yeah. It created a small lip inside and that's what I'm trying to remove here right now. But I don't want to go too big. to go a little bit more. And again, I'm not going too crazy because I get I don't want it too big. We're almost there. in it comes out very easy it's a little bit tighter than the other one this is a little bit looser I might have went a little bit too big but it's okay if you do go maybe a millimeter too much see this one doesn't flop around if I shake it as much this does a little bit but again like I said I'm gonna add a little bit of silicone here in between to keep it on the wheel itself and once that's done, I'll be able to put it back and give myself more weight in my front end of the vehicle here. Now, if you guys have any questions or comments, post down below. I'll be gladly to answer you guys. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I do appreciate it. It does help a lot of the channel. It does help a lot the channel. Wow, having issues. And uh, I do appreciate it. Thank you for watching.